Hey y'all, it's your girl Tanisha and I'm back with another Candy Apple Vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Today we're going to do Halloween Candy Apples. The fun way. Let's get started. So of course we got the candy um, that we're cooking. We're waiting on it to get to 300 degree temperature. Check out my other Candy Apple video for details on measurements and everything. But yeah, we waiting on it to get to where it needs to be. So, to make it fun, we're going to do cotton candy flavor. Candy for the candy apples. So that, you know, it reminds me of a circus theme. So I felt like cotton candy was appropriate. Excuse the stove, baby. The wax from the apples that I cleaned messed me up. Um, so, okay. So, we ready to roll. So basically, I like to cook my candy first now. I've noticed that I get a brighter, more vibrant color and more exact when I do it. So what I'm doing now is adding my white color first, of course. And I'm gonna come right back in with orange to go with the theme. Gotta get it open first, but yeah. We gotta put some orange in here to go with the Halloween thing. We want to make it pop. We want to make it look fun. Um, this is just something I literally just thought of and was like, you know what? I'm about to try this. So, I went to Dollar Tree. I got all of this little candy and little Halloween stuff. Um, well, a dollar twenty-five tree. Um, to add to my apples to make it fun. Just be mindful. This is just a tutorial this is not going to be sold to anybody or anything so no i do not have on any gloves yes i have nails but this is literally just those four apples well three that i'm doing and i'm done i just literally wanted to show y'all how i make my apples pop a little more a little more fun um so yeah you just add to your desired um color that you're looking for. I wanted, like I said, a more bright orange. So I added a little more orange to it to give it some color to make it pop. But yeah, just keep stirring because a lot of times the color will stick to the side of the pot. And as it get, it's getting warmer, it's getting thicker. I'm sorry, as it's cooling down, it's getting thicker. So, you just want to kind of move a little bit more. A little bit faster than I was moving, honey. I was going slow. Um, so, it did try to kind of thicken up on me too fast. But, like I said, it was just three apples, so it wasn't a big deal. Okay, I'm trying to get all that color done. That way, I don't have any streaks in me darker color in my apples or anything like that to get it as smooth as possible so yeah we're just starting with the little suckers I thought these were so cute uh, again these are not going to be sold these are literally for example purposes only so I'm touching all over this candy normally I first of all I wouldn't have nails on and I would have gloves on this is nobody's order. This is just me making these and my kids gonna eat them. But yeah, I think you can start with the suckers. You can start with pretty much anything but the suckers. If you get the big suckers, you don't even need a stick in the apple. You can actually use the big suckers as the stick. But these were so small that I was like, I still need my support from my stick to be able to dip correctly. But yeah, you want to, the sucker I put in first before I put the candy just so it can stay. Um, everything else you can pretty much put in, put on after you dip. The only thing about dipping it is the candy mixture does dry very fast. So you'll see me struggle with that a little bit. I'm not taking it out or cutting it out because I want y'all to see it happens. Um, so... Yeah, you'll get the hang of it, and as you dip one, 
go ahead and start putting stuff on it. And you'll see me do that here in just a second. See how you can no longer see any green on the apple? That's what that white does. If you just try to put orange in that candy mixture with no white, you will see straight through. See, at first I was making it a little too slow. So we got gummy worms, we got marshmallows, we got suckers, uh, candy bracelets, but we, we got everything. Now these did not want to cooperate, they were plastic. I would suggest getting the gumball ones, but again, this is just for example purposes. But you'll see at the end what I decided to do with those. But yeah, that's where the candy got thick because I took too long. Um, you can always put it back on the stove to reheat it. Just do not forget about it. You don't need more than a couple of seconds to make it a little more smooth again. Um, no, you're not looking forward to get back to 300. You're literally just looking forward to liquefy again so that it's not as thick. Um, because I had stuff on the top to put on the top of the apple, I didn't worry about covering it fully, but I do suggest you cover the whole apple, especially if you cleaned it and it's turned brown. You don't. People don't want to see that. Um, yeah, so I kept trying to mess with those eyeballs, but they were not having it. Um, like I said, you'll see what I end up doing with those. But yeah, these were fun. So, um, that's pretty much mixed it up, did different things on each apple. You get the concept of it, it's cute. Um, one of the apples I actually, cause the teeth came with blood, candy blood. So I actually drizzled it on it. It made it look really creepy. But, um, so you can do it as an interactive. You can, you know, provide the packet of blood. Like I said, all of this came from Dollar Tree stuff. So easy to find uh, not expensive at all could be I guess if you had 12 apples but um, depending on what you're trying to do if you're trying to just do it for the kids this would be perfect but yeah um, I just the candy was still kind of soft so that was able to stick to it but it'll pop once it dries and the kids get a hold of it that'll pop right off they can still open the can and eat it. But yeah, I thought these were so cute. Um, of course, I could have put much more on the apple. There I go with the blood. And I just feel like the kids would have so much fun doing that with the apple. But I was just wanted to show as an example. But yeah, I could have put more on the apples. I decided not to because Dollar Tree didn't really have a lot of what I was looking for. But you can go any way with this. You can go candy, corn, whatever you decide. Like I said, you just have to be kind of swift with it because the candy dries so fast. But it, it would be really cute. You can also glue stuff to the stick that's maybe not edible. But here's me doing double-sided tape foam tape and I'm going to put those eyeballs on there. Why? Because they're not real. I mean, I'm sorry, they're not edible anyways. So, like I said, you can put it on the stick. It gives the same effect that it's creepy Halloween without uh, having to worry about the candy drying on you. So yeah, that ended up working out perfect for me. Um, I could have put more of the stick on each side double the eyes up but I was just wanted to show for example but yeah those came out really cute
And here they are, y'all. These are the Halloween candy apples. So easy. Once you get the recipe down, like I said, check out my other video. I'll try to include the link below. These will be so fun for anybody um, to do for the kids, for birthday parties, whatever. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me know what else you would like to see, um, especially when it comes to treats. I appreciate the support. Make sure if you watch this far, please subscribe, join the fam. We'd love to, you know, get your feedback and your support to keep making these videos. But yeah, these are it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.